Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the fourth video of our newly created technical channel called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of ServiceNow releases, how ServiceNow releases works and also like how you, you are going to get all the information about ServiceNow releases and stuff like that, right? And then then we have uh, understood like how we can get our personal developer instance or the service now developer instance guys and that was very 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 important because th throughout this whole series each and every video we are going to use that developer instance okay so if you miss that video guys and if you do not have your developer instance yet ready so i would ask you go back to my last video and watch the complete video and please have your service now developer instance ready with you okay so don't worry i'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on my screen and you can see on my desktop this is the last video thumbnail so get your service now own service now so please go and have a watch it and then come back to this video okay now let's see what we are going to learn in today's video okay so we are going to learn a few things today so first is record very 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 important guys like the basic or starting of service now understanding of service now is very very important if you clear these basic concepts the whole service now would be very easy for you right so we are going to learn what is record then what is list view what is form view and then we'll just compare between list and form view you'll understand it okay so first we'll go and get some idea concept like what i do with the slides and then we'll directly go to the service now and i'll show you all these things like list view form view how it looks like what are the things you can do in different views so let's get started so first record record is very very important very simple and very important too so record in simple way record means a row in a spreadsheet now what is a spreadsheet a spreadsheet is like that you have seen it in excel right so this is simply a small table you can see we have the the this things called column all the field like the first name last name company email these are all column and also we have row you can see this is the row right so here you can see pritam first name last name ganguly company service now email this email id so this this is completely a record a single record okay which contains many field like email company first name last name you can see right again this is another record where the name is first name rahul last name bose company service now email rahul.bose at gmail.com so this is another record so now if we read the definition again a record is a row in a spreadsheet so this is a row this is another row so this is considered to be a single record this is another record okay so in service now whenever you are going to create a record and basically in service now like i mentioned all of the things are tables and record right so service now has a table we are going to see all these things don't worry so service now has a table called user table for an example and there we have the information suppose first name last name company and the email okay now each and every record that you are going to store in service now that's ultimately is going to the database of service now okay like you know service now have their own data center and there all your data stores in a database also suppose when you want to retrieve a data for an example consider this as a table okay and then we have a more than 500 and 600 records and there we want to see and different different companies name are there uh, here i am showing service now but there are different different companies there so i want to know that how many company or how many record that i have where company name is service now right so if you have ever done query sql query or microsoft database uh, microsoft access sorry so there you have already done this kind of thing right so it is kind of same so you are asking for a record so service now will bring back the record from the database and show you in front of your skin now you might be thinking pritam okay in access also we use the query language and sql also we have used the query language so do i need to use any query language here the answer is absolutely no so guys service now has a very 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 powerful filter which we are going to explore more in the next video so with the help of the service now filter you can just simply filter it out all the records you don't need any uh, query to be used so this is the record guys and we are going to see it in the demo also and also very important thing each record has a key that's called sys id that's a global unique identifier okay also it is known as guid 
and also sys id so what is a sys id a 32 bit character you can see in the below so this is the example so each and every record that service now has on each and every different different table all the records so each record contains a sys id okay that's how the record get identified this is a sys id of the record now for the time being you don't need to understand that much we will uh, later discuss about sys id where we will see how we can use sys id and stuff like that most of the cases sys id are used uh, in the developer instance so whenever you will learn about service now developer so there we will get a better understanding of sys id so for the time being sys id is a unique key 32 characters and which identifies a record okay in a table so you don't need to remember this 32 character stuff so this is automatic auto generate you could say so we understand what is record now let's quickly see what is a list view so this is a snapshot from the service now that i have taken uh, don't worry i'm gonna go there quickly and show you in real also so this is the list view guys so if we look into it uh, we have just understood the concept of a record right the uh, row called record and the fields are the columns so you can see number open short description caller priority these are all the fields now here are the information about the column so these are all our records so this is one two three four five so you can see in the picture we have seven records right so you understand so this is the list view in the list view we can see multiple records per page so each of these are records right this is a single page we can move to next page where more records are there okay so this is how records are getting stored in the list view you can see right also we have limited fields so the fields that you can see you know what is field right the column so these fields are limited so i'll show you in the form view there are so many fields available which is not visible in the list view or which is not possible to show in the list view we will see in the live demo also and then in the list view we can do the filter and short okay that's a very very pow powerful thing like i have just discussed about filter so filter and short we can do in the list view only in the form view we cannot do any filter and stuff okay so this is a view of uh, the list and also some points but again i'm going to show you in the demo also live in a minute after we completing the form view so this is the example or the, this is a snapshot again from the service now this is a form view so this is the incident so the records that you have seen so this is one of the record i have opened then i have took the screenshot so you can see in the form view we have one record per page so this is a single record so in list view we get multiple records and when you click any of the record then you get this view that is the form view so we'll get information about one record details information so one record per page okay we have more fields like we discussed in list view we have less field but in form view we have more fields and more control so where we have more field we can modify and stuff like that so we can do edit modify records in the form view that is not possible in the list view so we have got just an idea about list view or form view few points and how they look like now let's go to the service now and see about record form view and list view so right now i am in my service now developer account okay so if you do not have the account again guys uh, i'll recommend you to watch my last video and get the service now instance now from here i'll click on all to get the menu and i'll make it pin so that it stays here now these are all the list of the application and this is the application navigator section where we have list of the application so don't worry we will understand all the important applications here and also like uh, how you are going to create a new application okay so from here let's go to the incident table to clear our understanding so for the incident table i just search incident here okay now what is incident what is request uh, problem and everything we will understand uh, separate videos in separate video for the time being this is an application incident that's we are going and we will go if you just scroll down we see there is a section called all where we will see the list of all incidents that are there in the service now okay now just to make a shortcut i can just make it on as favorites okay and then click on the all one and now let's unpin it okay now we get the full screen so these are the records so this is a screenshot you remember right i show you in the powerpoint so these are all the records you can see all the records are in list view right 
this single row are uh, representing the record and the column representing the field okay now you can ask me Pritam, where this record comes we didn't put any record right so this is very important guys whenever you will go for the developer instance so service now will give you this records so this, these are the dummy records you could say so just for your practice just for your uh, you know study purpose so you can use you can get you can use all these records so this is not any real record we have not put it put any record yet all records or the demo records are coming from the service now okay so you can see we have this list of records we have uh, 67 and you can see this is a single page so in the list view this view we can go to next page also we can see more records and stuff and then go back and things like that now what are the things priority state category everything we will understand when we will learn more about incident now this is a view of list view guys and very quickly i'll show you from where you can filter so this is a filter icon and you can see from here we can filter now more about filter we will explore in the next video now let's click any of this incident and let's see the form view so whenever you will click a single record here so you will get the form view so this is the form view where you will get more fields so we have seen that in form view we get more fields and more control so here we have more fields like see we have all these options all these things will explain don't worry so just understand for the time being that how this form view looks like and each and every application that you are going to learn however i mean an incident it may be change it may be problem it may be dictionary it may be ui policy actions everything each and everything has two views one is the list view that have that we have seen and one is the form view the form view is where you will get the details about the about a single record okay so you can see this is a single record single record number is showing all the details about it so this is the form view guys now i'll show you some shortcut so if you want to go to any list view of a table okay all view this is the all section right you know we have just uh, we have search for incident and then we click the all one then for other tables also for change problem for other tables we have the all section so a very quick shortcut if you want to go to any tables list view then you need to write the table name first then dot list list then press enter you'd see i'm same i'm here in the same page right incident list view now in a same way if we want to go to the form view so we need to write the table name dot do and that will open a new incident form view you can see so this is how the list view and form view works so this is very important concept guys because all the things all the applications that we are going to learn we will have the list view and form view so you have got a quite idea about the incident table so this is the incident table guys where you can create record here see these are the field we can create record and we can submit it okay and also in the list view we see the records so just for a quick understanding let's create a quick record so this is the information i'm taking so maybe information like uh, okay let's put it a demo demo testing you can write it anything and now let's save it let's not go into all the folder further details we'll go let's click on submit and once you submit then you can see this is in the list view we got our record so congratulations you have created your first record guys and you are also viewing it on the list view so if i click on this record i'll get the information in the about the record in the form view so i hope you have enjoyed guys this is it for today in the next video we will see about the filter and search which is very very important guys okay so if you find this video helpful guys hit the like button and also if you have any doubts any question come to the comment section and also please share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thank you bye bye see you in my next video take care